time to save some lives. Okay, these controls seem sensical enough. You. So you get this out of the way, thank you. Okay, here we go. Well, let's see. Bone saw. Yes. Yes. Let's see, if we can place our hand just right. There we go. Oh, oh god. That hurt. There we go. No, 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 oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, well, okay, uh, we're clearly not using the bone saw, so let's see if we can figure out something else. Ah, here we go. This looks promising. Come on, you moron, grab onto it. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we're making a heart transplant. We. Oh, what have I done? Actually, you did exactly what you're supposed to do. Remove the. Well, you're not actually supposed to remove the two lower ribs, but you know, good enough. Now we need to get the ribs out of the actual rib cage so that they're no longer in the way. Nurse! Nurse! God damn it. Yeah, one rib removed. Good work. Okay, let's see, let's just put our hands in there, oh god, my wrist, let's see, there we go, there we go, there we go, second rib is out, which means that we have access to the heart. Question is, what sort of? <laughs> oh no, no good, no good. Oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> what is this guy made out of? Holy crap, that is that is not okay. That is not how it's supposed to be. Get at that hot bro. Give it! Hot crane game activated. <laughs> Actually, getting at the hot seems to be the problem here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wait, what? That's okay. But excuse me, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to please remove your lungs from the operating table. There we go. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll put it back. But now I want to grab hold of this heart, but it seems that we need to cut the aortic connections first. Okay, let's see. We are going to need a scalpel of some sort. Not a hammer, a scalpel. Scalpel, scalpel. Here we are, scalpels. Give me a scalpel, please. Not a rib, a... Oh god, my hand! That hurts. Scalpels. There we go, scalpels. Now if you would be so kind as to... Make an aortic incision. Good enough. Well, please remove the scalpel from the patient and let us move into the. God darn it. Tickly, 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 tickly. That's not how you do it. Get. This guy's heart is pretty in there, isn't it? I realize that it's probably by design, but still. Quite a bit of blood pooling here, I suspect. Wow, that sure is stuck in there. Right. Gosh darn it. Lost another soul. Pen. Yes, pen. This is perfect. Give, give me the pen. Thank you. Now then. This is the worst pen! He isn't even working. Alright. Emergency measures which must be applied. Oh, oh, no. There we go. Handled. Now, if you would please surrender that heart to me, sir. Sir, you... You don't want this heart. It's a bad model. It's... There have been reported problems with this model of heart, so... We would like you to surrender it to us, sir. So how do you actually use the scissors, for example? Do I actually need to catch my fingers in there? Pff, 
put the fingers through the holes and press down on them. Yeah, that is not going to happen, is it? Let's see. I need a cutting implement of some manner. Seriously. Scalpel, please. Surrender thyself to my hands. So that we can finally get some cutting down done here. This is going to turn out into a impromptu Batista operation at this point. Why can't I actually aim at the... Come on. Slice up in that water, damn it. I will just leave the scalpel in there for now. Get these things out of here, they're, they're in the way. Oh, you come on, heart. Don't get stuck in a minute. Physics. Physics. Right. Well done. This clearly did not process according to plan. I need a nurse, or maybe two nurses. I do believe I saw one volunteer in the stream chat, so... Let's see if we can bring them in. Hopefully I will be able to bring both of them in at the same time, because otherwise Skype will be a dick, as usual. But only one of them is actually online, oh no! I'm doomed! Why is the heart still beating anyway? I thought the guy was dead. He's making an awful lot of noise for a dead man, isn't he? Oh wait, yeah, that's bad. right. Maybe it's my heart. The stress of surgery making it beat hard. Knowing that I have the blood of an innocent man on my hands. So, oh, no, wait, actually, I'm wearing surgical gloves. Ha! I came off scot free. Thank God for the medical system. If you're wondering what's taking so long, it's basically we're waiting for individual n number two to reach a place which you can set up to actually join the Skype call. I want to make sure to give both participants a ring at the same time, because otherwise Skype is going to fling its call window right in the middle of the stream, because Skype is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I do believe she is here now. Yes, she is. Excellent. So let's give these people a ring. And why would you put it there, Skype? Why? I hate you so much. All right. All right. Jeez. <laughs> So, uh. Someone in a car. Yeah. <laughs> that could be me. As I said, I just got a new mic, so I have yeah, no I idea. I think it's Hello. picking up quite a big a bit of background noise, actually. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's up to the position of it or if it's just currently adjusting or whatever. Yeah, I was uh, adjusting it a little bit, so is that better, guys? Well, at least the background always disappeared. Okay. It's <laughs> an excellent first step. Okay. Uh, would you prefer it if I went back to my old one? I guess is the other question. No, I think this works. Okay. Okay, let's give this another try. So, uh, Nurse Valley. <laughs> All right. Do you have any previous surgery experience? Um, I've been in surgery a few times. Oh. Get a new heart? Not a new heart. Um, I have had my adenoids removed though. Oh, there so we go. I guess that counts. <laughs> ah, ah. Look at this. Look at me being up. Oh, oh god. Don't poke him with the saw, you silly billy. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna oh, saw him up. That's not. No, no. C calm down, Mr. Surgery Man. It's okay, it's okay. The patient won't hurt you. It's all you hurting the patient at this time. Is it just me, or are the ribs, like, backwards? Like, yeah, sort of. They're not yeah. entirely anatomically correct, shall we say. Yeah, they're Get, not... I, I dropped my saw. Oh. Whoa, I lungs, think... what are you doing? At least you didn't... Oh, God. Alright, uh, hey, uh, Mr... In unconscious man, why don't you hold on to the saw for now, and you... I'll... I'll... I'll tell you when I need it. At least you didn't... Oh god! <laughs> it's kind of your head. Uh, do Dr. Wolf, I don't think that's quite what you saw. God damn it, woman, I'm committing surgery! Stand back! Oh, what have I done? Oh, Jesus. Doctor. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, incision complete. It sure is lucky that this guy doesn't actually, you know, have a chest or anything. Just ribs. Yep. Ribs, lung... Oh. <laughs> ribs and lungs. And his heart. Oh. But he won't hard much longer. Damn you, live! That's all you really need. <laughs> yeah, you know, just a giant rib cage with some with a heart in it. You're set, oh, yeah. You're set basically. Mm-hmm. We don't need arteries or an esophagus, a stomach. No, just lungs, heart, and ribs. Modern medicine is amazing. I'm having some trouble actually reaching far down enough to uh, interact with these things. Because you can't really force the hand to go deeper than the game thinks that you want to go. Don't I? I'm entirely sure that you made a better job than me at the surgery when you had played the game 59 times in your desperate bid to be able to say that you were better than me. <laughs> Don't tell you, you are a far better surgeon than Dr. Arthur, but, uh... 
you know, he's he's beginning, and you're gonna make mistakes when you're just beginning. <coughs> trick is to use the hammer. No, the trick is not to use the hammer because that is terrifying. I am honestly trying here, okay? I mean, I originally opted for a lower two ribs removal so that I could make a, you know, approach for the heart transplant from there, but apparently the game doesn't actually think that you should do what you're supposed to do during a real heart surgery. So that didn't work. Are you sure these are lungs and not some sort of alien lumps? I don't know. They could be parasites that breathe, yes. I we can't rule that out. God, it keeps falling on top of the scalp. Yes, they are. Speaking of, I could really do the scalpel right about now. So please, game, allow me to pick up the scalpel. I said, allow me to pick up the... Oh god, no, don't put your finger at the tip of the scalpel. That is terrifying. God, that must have hurt so much. I think what's key here is the use of your thumb. Squish, 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 it's a very squish, important squish, digit. Squish, 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 blood, 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 blood. I mean, do we know this guy's blood type? I mean, I could, I could give him maybe a little bit of mine, but he's a positive. <laughs> There we go. Mortic bisection complete. The question is, will we actually be able to extract a heart from this angle? Maybe we should grab the lung first. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Get out. There we go. So... The lung isn't attached to anything, then. What, your lung's attached? What? That's silly. Let's see, okay. It's still attached, even though we only have one... Uh, yeah. ...external connection, okay. Well, then, let's just pick up the scalpel again and make sure to basic that. I'm pretty sure that's looking pretty good, but apparently it's not cutting, so... Ah, there we go. Alright. And yeah. I dropped the scalpel. He's losing blood fast. Oh no. Well, his heart is no longer attached to his body, so that's not entirely surprising. So, do you just have to put the heart into it? Is it a new heart, or do you have to put everything back together? I have no idea. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry for not actually re revealing this to you, nurses, before okay. this point, but I actually have no idea what I'm doing, believe it or not. I, I think oh. we need to call. Me neither. Call security. <laughs> there you go. Looks fine to me. A plus plus rating. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, Saved a life. You, you can't ask for anything more. Yeah. Look at those lungs go, seriously. <laughs> yes, this is a horrible hospital. He doesn't really need lungs. That new heart is so good, he doesn't even need lungs. Is this basically. Team Fortress to meet the medic. You just put that in there and you start it up, and there, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's go for the speed run. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this surgery seems a lot more limited than I thought. I thought it was like an actual legit simulator, and not just kind of a novelty physics thing. Well, there are real honest to god, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> simulators as well, but those are generally terrible. Oh, what have I done? There we go. <laughs> 
Begin extraction. And by begin extraction, I mean grab everything and throw it the fuck out of there. Get, get, get out of my fucking way. We got a heart to save. Fuck. <laughs> oh god, what did I do? Oh, I accidentally smashed a beaker with a lung. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> right, my bad. My bad, okay? Well, his so heart is still not still attached. That's basically yeah. what's keeping him alive at this point. <laughs> I want to bisection. Come on, let's do it. Why am I holding the scalpel upside down? Uh, you're trying a new approach with the scalpels. Um, they've actually found that the other end does a really good job too for cutting. It's just a lot slower. You can be more precise if you have the time available. Yeah. Gosh darn it. Scalp L. Okay, aortic bisection, please. Thank you. The other aorta as well. No, stop stabbing him in the heart. What is this beaker doing here? Yeah, I God damn it, nurses! What are you doing? <laughs> you flipped it in, doctor, while you were grabbing the scalpel, and I was laughing too hard to mention it. Are you actually <laughs> blaming the doctor? You will not last long in this business, my dear. I can be sued. You can't. So remember, it's never my fault. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that's, that's why I'm going for a physician's assistant. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Still, we were doing we were doing well. Yeah, we were. It was we, we close got... enough. What killed us was that uh, was the lung going into the scalpels and stuff. Yeah. That sort of ruined it. Yeah. Oh god, get it off me! There we go. Right, <laughs> this time, get rid of the beakers. We've already informed ourselves that those are incredibly dangerous. We do not want those anywhere. Yes. Like, literally nowhere. We don't want them to exist. They have beaked enough. And that is not how you hold a bone saw. What, what are you... Fine, jeez. <laughs> hey, bro, guess what I'm going to do with this? Oh, God! Here's my saw! Oh. Bone saw is terrible. Yeah. Uh, I the hammer. That was working really well. Yeah, but the thing is that if you use the hammer, you lose like. 1,000 blood simply for using the hammer because you're not supposed to use the hammer. Oh. <laughs> but pop goes the weasel. Come on. <laughs> Approach the vic I mean, patient and then... Oh, you oh, are Dr. Butterfingers to Surgeon 1. I love how tapping him with it takes several hundred milliliters of blood out. There we go. Clean this shit out. Finesse. Takes a certain degree of finesse to be a doctor, you see. It does. Not everyone has it, but I do. They called me the touch of God, you see. Got a fantastic hand eye coordination. Um, my sister was actually got stuck on this uh, island that had dinosaurs on it. Fascinating. Do tell me more. <laughs> she had neutral appendages, too. <laughs> There we go. A perfect heart removal. See, we can that just is... extract it from the rib cage. Yeah. Oh, come on. What are you stuck on this time? 
<laughs> she did break one of her arms too. I am fairly sure that that is no longer attached to anything, so I'm not entirely... It doesn't look like it. I think it's grabbing onto something else, is the thing. Oh, wait, wait, I see. I see what the problem is. Let's see, do we have any scalpers on hand? Oh, there yeah, there we go. Yeah. There, there. See if we can actually get at this particular scalpel. Because it's in a position where you are not actually allowed to move your hand to it. Great. Uh, there was still one over to your left. Yeah, but there are quite a few over here too, but... The question is if we can dig him up. There we go. No, not the pencil, damn it. For all the things you could have picked, you picked the one thing that won't actually help anyone. Can you, in fact, draw on the clipboard with the uh, pencil? That is an excellent question, but I don't think so. Oh. There, have we now finally, finally rid ourselves of this freaking... <laughs> oh god, why? Freaking trick-shotting the scalpel into his chest. What is it called? Looks to me... like one of the rear... <laughs> Those aortic veins, maybe? Seems like it. It could be cut on him. Now, if I'm not using the correct medical lingo here, then I apologize. <laughs> because yeah, suffice no. to say, it's been quite a while since I've studied medical science. <laughs> like, a, like a few lives ago at this point. Of, of course. Um, I do have an RN in the house. Uh, I, I could always go ask her if you need a kid. Curse this heart of his. I don't think it actually is attached to anything at this point. It's just refusing to let go. Yeah, because it looks like it's really separated from the... the I think it's just stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I almost just want to ha hammer the heart just to see if it'll move. Well done. Uh, obviously, the patient is not cooperating. He doesn't want to let go of his heart. Yeah. That doesn't. Come on, bro. Stop <laughs> just dr randomly dropping the scalpel, you silly doctor, you. I'm not letting it's go of the buttons, it's just that the, the physics the engine goes crazy for a bit. How about now, then? Come on, we can clearly see all the connections, and they are severed. Look at that, the heart is just lying there, it's not attached to anything. Why are you refusing to let go? It loves him too much, and even though it's... <laughs> Damn it, nurse, help me! Where's my medication? Something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
god, oh god, oh god. My wrist was literally twisted 200 and 270 degrees. No wonder I couldn't get, get it to move properly. My only regret as a doctor is that I have bonitis. Yeah, um... Oh, wow. I'm just going to grab this pencil if I can. Oh no, I can't. Well, let's grab this... <laughs> but why? <laughs> just grab the baker. This <laughs> hand of mine. Just throw all the garbage in the operating room into its chest cavity and close them up. Let's just put the heart in there, shall we? Sure. I mean, the auto connections are severed, so I mean, it should be fine, right? You'd hope. Maybe. No. Where is this heart of his attached? I literally cannot see from this point. A camera movement function would be nice. Yeah. Stab his old heart. Um, we could. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime. Yeah. Well, the other heart is gone, so. Uh, he's he's gonna have to work with that one. With Let's see. Bonzo mode engaged. To hell with the. I have to this monster. Right. Well, like then. that was going really well, and then the heart got stuck. Yeah, then the heart just decided no. No. I'm going to try that again. All right. There goes the bone saw. Right, we've broken a beaker already. We're also a great start. <laughs> yeah, Jay Mole, and you missed uh, the most amazing physics freak out. Right, this it, it time again, but... we'll just simply cut the sternum open. Oh, what have I done? Oh, no, no good, no good. Because, oh, as no, we've oh, learned, oh, we no. basically oh, need to remove everything. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, he doesn't really it. need a sternum anyway. Oh, damn it! Well, I know I go around life without one. Doesn't everybody? I never leave my home without my bones all, that's for sure. Cleaning out the rib cage. Or well, what's left of it? On well, the bright side, his chest cavity will have increased by roughly two hundred percent by the time we're done. And apparently, those floating oh, pieces useful. of ribs are actually still magically attached to something. So we are going to have to get rid of those as well. Why did you just let go of the saw, you... This is not good. This is... Oh god! Oh god, no! And now he is bleeding out bad, because I think we just severed his heart, didn't we? Uh, we might have, yeah. Question is, can we actually oh, extract right. it? Oh no, apparently no. his heart is perfectly fine attached, it's just that he is bleeding horribly for some reason. Okay then. So I guess the amount of bleeding caused is based on how many cuts you make, rather than actually how much damage you cause? I... In my dot I keep saying that the hammer, if you use it right, it doesn't cause a lot of damage, and you don't even get the hammer time. But you're not supposed to use a hammer. 
It's there as the it's there as a joke more than anything. Well, maybe we need to reintroduce hammers into the into medical practice. The problem is not with the hammers; it's with the people using them. Exactly. Hmm. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over the fact that the, the doctor starts making noises as if he's throwing up because he's panicking due to actually, you know, performing oh, surgery. Not good, not good. I can't do this, my anxiety. It's too much. Oh, what have I done? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no, not good, not good. There we go. Fairly minimal bleeding. You get an extraction as usual. And by extraction, I mean just wrap your freaking hand in there and grab up to whatever the hell you can catch on to. It's like making a jack o' lantern. Yeah, exactly. If you, I mean, if, yeah, if you start out with a plan, what it's going to look like and stuff like that, you're just going to stress yourself out. You know, just be creative. Go for it. Let the let the pumpkin, or in this case, chest cavity, take take you where you will. Yeah. Well, sure, sure. Having a general idea of what you're doing usually helps, but come on, not very exciting that way, is it? It's overrated. Yeah. Now let's see. And you can always make a delicious treat out of the inside. We have a rib that is refusing to let go of this lung. That is basically what's holding us up. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Take out this last piece, and there we go. We are finally done to start working on these incisions again. Alright. We have a scalpel. Let's bring the scalpel so that we can actually see what we're doing. And cut, 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 cut. No, that's not where we're supposed to be cutting. That's where we're supposed to be cutting. Stop moving your hand without me moving the mouse. God damn it! It just gets really tired. <laughs> I'm shaking, bro. I'm shaking. Once again, the heart is just refusing to leave the cavity. Let's see, where is the final attachment point? There, in the back. Let's see if that is the problem. There's no. a secret artery. I ate a sixth artery! And then the dramatic music starts playing. That's what was keeping him alive all this time. This is unheard of in medical science. every human being has a bonus artery that you have to find. <laughs> you found the secret artery! Da -na -na -na. How about now then? Come on, that was a perfect cut. Please reward me. I swear to God, let go of your heart, man. Because you need to learn when to let it go. His heart will go on. And on, and on, and on. And that is the problem. I certainly feel as if I have severed everything there. Now, there we go. Now the heart is finally free. And how do we know? Because it stopped beating. Finally! Get out of well, here. It's good that we know that now. Now, oh, careful, careful. Actually, reach the heart and. Oh, Jesus! Jesus Christ! 
And I actually broke a rib by throwing a heart at it. That's pretty rad. There we go. He barely bled, actually. It starts yeah, at, it start was, is it, five, yeah, it starts at 5,000 milliliters. He didn't even lose half a liter of blood. Pretty good. We're, we're getting better at this. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I've never, never entering a surgery hall ever again. <laughs> Oh, it starts at 5,600 milliliters. Well, fine, though, Ty. Fine. Okay, so he lost roughly one liter of blood during a heart replacement surgery. That is roughly one-tenth of a, what a person would normally do, so that's still pretty good. And we regulated his humors. Yeah, I know, right? He was really short on bile, so I just poured some in there. Yes, and good. how often do you get to, to fix your humors like that? Yeah, I mean, shit, just inject some phlegm right into the new heart. Right. Look, Panther, you're, he did not lose his ribs and his lungs, okay? My job as a surgeon is to get the heart in there. Then my nurses take over and they just put back the things that are supposed to be where they're supposed to be. They, they You know, they have one of those plastic models that used to you know usually have in the biology class so all they need to do is basically put it together in reverse and they know where everything goes exactly it's Sounds reverse right. engineering yeah i mean a high school kid could do it and, and they're on the floor i mean we can just pick them up dust them off we'll be fine yeah i mean you know exactly where they are through them Right. Well, that was Surgeon Simulator 2013. All right. All right. Let's see what else we can dig up, shall we? Sounds good.